Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Tinubu's mere sneeze, roar like a lion. One of Tinubu boy, boys has said, Honorable, wrote to me, marking day. Hmm. Yeah, he can say that because um, like Desmond Eloyt, he has um, benefited from some of the activities of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu as his godfather. He says Tinubu is so important in Nigeria that a mere sneeze from the man, you know, thunders and roars and everybody's at attention. You know, he went further to make a bold statement saying if Tinubu goes ahead and, uh, you know, compete for election in 2023, you'll be sure amazed that he will win the election. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. You know why the government of today is so afraid? What happened in less than two weeks, oh, let's just give it all together, three weeks, was a shocker to the whole of Nigeria. We are youth, we are able to mobilize and put themselves together to say end to police brutality. It did not only get Nigerians' attention, it went beyond the shores of Africa to every nation of the world. What are we talking about? When we come together, we move, remember, guys, and that's why they are trying to tame us by all means necessary and possible, trying to seize some accounts, freeze accounts, seize passports here and there, and do whatever they can. Let's get straight into the news and hear what Honorable Rotimi Makinde has got to say about Tinubu. Difficult road often leads to beautiful destination. First, they ignored him. Then, they ridiculed him. Then they found him, and then he won. And when he returned, he stole the Ajigabo of Lagos. As Shiwaju Bola Tinubu, they call him a thief. He cared not, but focus he is, and never budges. The Lagosian either likes it or not, he is the Ajigabo. They speak about his political sab sabotage. He is the last man standing. While they were asleep, he was building people and making legends. Governors, ministers, heads of state deeply involved in activities across the oceans. Lagosians, we are not moved by their respective and organization from other residents. For they see him as an anchor, an achiever, a modern man for the modern Lagos. His presence and his words stand and make a big weight. The position he occupies is beyond my imagination. Relating to regions, he was envied at the best at home and even outside the country. He, is, he was called Lion and the Borders, his nickname. But the good people of Lagos were never discouraged. They set him as he is, as Shiwaju. No matter what he said about him, all of these words fall to the bare ground. He's the one who speaks and everyone listens. They thought he would never rise, but he's getting prepared and getting ready for 2023 presidency. We will all see how Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu will not just make his announcement, but win the entirety of the election. Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu will become the president of Nigeria. We are here. We, his own, would support him all the way. People look out and say he is a man, a genuine leader, one who searches and builds people. He has touched people both in the north, south, east, west. He has sons and daughters, and we are proud to be associated with Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. That is Honorable Rotimi Makinde talking about Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. It's like reading a biography of a man that is still very much alive, saying that Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu is a voice to be reckoned with in today's life, in today's modern day. He's bringing about new innovation to Lagos State, and they are proud to be associated with him. Of course, like we say, everyone has their opinion. You, you heard what he said. He said, why others were sleeping, Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu were building people ministers, governors, and what have you. And he's one of the benefactors, like I told you, you know, like Desmond Eloyd, he's one of the benefactors who stood where he is, and guess what? 
Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu gave them the platform to become honorable. Honorable House of Representative member. So he has become a honorable. So this is what Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu has done for some of them. And he's saying, guess what? The people will be watching. The guy will contest for the election and he will win. Why? He said they are solidly behind him. They are solidly standing behind Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu to make sure he emerges the winner in the 2023 election. Says Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu has people all over the regions in the north. We all know, of course, that um, he's instrumental to Buhari, the very president of Nigeria. And that's why whatever happened, they call him, they gave him a name called the APC leader. When you have Buhari, who is the president of the country, himself and Buhari are sharing the same name because of the merger and the money he spent on making Buhari the president of the country. Wrote to me saying, well, he's sure of the personality of, uh, you know, of Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu, that 2023 is a real game changer. They are ready to go on and to make sure that Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu becomes the governor of, you know, not just the governor, the president of Nigeria. You know, he has said Tinubu will emerge as the governor again. No, uh, the president, I beg your pardon, he has been a governor, he has been a senator. As we speak, his wife is still the senator, representing one of the senatorial districts in Lagos State. His son is, you know, mounting some of the business empire. The daughter is in charge of collecting revenue from the market. He has strategically positioned his family and he has also gone ahead to bring others into the fold. People like this wrote to me speaking. But the truth of the matter is, we, do, we don't really care. We care less. Because the truth is, 2023, you guys will be surprised. All of a sudden, there will be a transformation. Because Nigeria has to change. And we are ready for this change. The government of the day is so scared, is so afraid of allowing the country to really see the manifestation of good and good governance and growth and development. Hence, their continuous approach in, you know, oppressing Nigerian citizens. It will not happen. They will only try as much as they can. Of course, try your best possible. It's a choice if you want to go ahead and say you want to oppress Nigerians. Go ahead and do your best. Oppress. You can only oppress as much as you can. But guess what? We will not allow ourselves to be intimidated. 2023, we will come together and we will make sure that our voices count. We will stand together as one people and we will not allow no more form or way of intimidation. We will what? Govern us again. You have pushed us to a corner. Thank you very much for showing us ways that do not allow, you know, for true federalism and Nigeria to move forward. We are going to invent on it and we'll come back and you'll be amazed. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.